sentiment, different name. So this is an article here about Donald Trump. I wonder what you think about it. Change your name from black to African American this month. We still are celebrate. Well, most ones are here, so they say African history month all the while still. We say black history month because of a, a time lapse in our consciousness. But most one other view, not themselves, not as well, not most one, but we who understand the level, they would have say we are African rather than say we're black. Because black not related to no country. Africa. Every people have to relate to a land of them ancestors. So we say we are African first. Just like all the other time when people said them is Negro. In a Marcus Garvey days, it was Universal Negro Improvement Association. Now people don't refer to themselves as Negro anymore. But most people prefer if you say black. And it's very convenient if you say black, then it absolves you from saying you're African. Absolve from say African. And I hear I hear um what's your name? Oprah Winfrey and um where this where this elder um actor name said them are not African American, them are American. Yes, Oprah Winfrey say not Oprah Winfrey. Oh gosh, did no me I get Oprah Winfrey bad name. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg says she's an African American. She's American. Well, we understand the levels and we say, Bruno, what do you think about it? A white supremacist are clear African American rather than black Af black black history month, African American history month. You see what else him going to do. You know, so them they pan him pee pee clack clack you know about certain things. This is the stepping razor with the video. So, as we are saying now, I only for people forget Africa. But all we are telling them say this month, Black History Month, is just the situation where you find a book about, or go up on your internet and find something pertaining to our African past, our African ancestry, because. Even though we hear people complain, say, it's the shortest month, but most people who complain, say, Black History Month is the shortest month, they still not do nothing. They still not do nothing as it relates to Africa. And we know, say, we survive so much things, and our history, our history is much, much longer than slavery. Slavery is not African history. We're going beyond thousands of years of history can't wipe us so easily. And we are saying it's important that African people recognize them ancestral legacy. Because we have a legacy. If you do your ear, and we also what we said last night, if you do your ear, people are say black people don't do this and look where black people now do and look where black people. A black people, if it wasn't for black people, a whole heap of the things them where we take for granted right now as technology and spirituality. We are talking about science now and spirituality, the two basic tendencies of human survival, science and spirit. We are saying a lot of it, a lot of it come from the African legacy, our ancestral legacy. And when you hear people say, what has we, we have accomplished in this time? We have to tell them, say, we have accomplished survival. Survival. If your people go through so much, for hundreds of years, and still they have to tell the tale. It's a great accomplishment that. So don't make nobody go on like say, we don't accomplish nothing. Apart from accomplishing many other things in terms about science and spirituality, we have accomplished the, the unknown that tells us that if you go through all of them things there, your race of people not supposed to there. But we survive, man. 
you want a bigger accomplishment than that? Which other group of people, which other race of people go through where African people go through? And we still there have to tell the tale. So don't make nobody fool you, but we not we not we not we not, we not accomplish nothing. Thousands of years of history. Are we still there? The Arab come and enslave African people. The European come and enslave African people. Try to kill the way half. But guess what? We survive. We accomplish the impossible. The impossible? Yes, we accomplish the impossible. That we wasn't supposed to be here after all of that. But we still there to tell the tale. So don't make our ancestors' legacy go to waste. In a this month here, in a this month here, young people especially, go up on your internet. There's so much African scholars right now that you can refer to. You know, anything where you want to see, any video where you want to see about Africa, or any scholar where you want, where you want to talk about different aspects of African culture. Because you have 50 different countries in Africa. Africa is not a country, Africa is a continent with many different countries. And you can explore each continent on the internet and gather some information. Because them have we have studied European history for how much years now. All our focus is designed to keep us in a European logic, European explanation of things. European explanation of time, European explanation of sex, European explanation of political ideas, cultural perspective, all our things is based upon of Europe. And Europe is not the center of the world. Europe is not even the largest continent on earth. And you have people where it exists hundreds if not thousands of years before any European civilization. So we are saying, spend the month are in part of the month, just exploring, just exploring different aspects of Africa. You'll be surprised to see what you know and what you learn. And don't make nobody tell you about why we, we, we have to celebrate Africa 365 days a year. Watch out. Check the majority of people who say that. Them don't celebrate Africa no time, not even three days in their life. But them I tell you about, say, uh, uh, Black History Month chart. Black uh, African history go beyond um, 20 days. Yeah, we don't know that, but how much days out of that days you spend for acknowledge, for acknowledge what your ancestors do? How much days? So that is our message for Africa and African people. Spend some time exploring what is it that Africa contribute to European or Western civilization. Yes, this is the stepping razor. And we still there to tell the art of war. We're there with you. We have so much things for exciting at this time. Yeah. Believe you me, so much news. So much things going on. We want to go back. We want to go back to last week. And the situation with the past on them. When I come and fight, mark my word, this is not a nine-day thing. You're going to hear more of it. As a matter of fact, this week, this week, we hear of a seven-day advantage, accused of having sex with minor in St. Mary, a seven-day Adventist. An elder in the seven-day Adventist church in St. Mary was arrested Tuesday night for having sex with a minor. He was reportedly taken into custody by the Port Maria Police after a probe by the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offense and Child Abuse. The alleged victim is reported a 14-year-old girl. Now, we don't even want to read no more of this because I'm going to tell you now about the long time one. We're still there, the thing. And we're going to see we're going to have this. But I want to tell you how wicked are news. You see, when we have people in a Jamaican society that's supposed to protect we, especially the two groups that we have mentioned you now, the two groups where people always rely upon. Last week was talking about how the, the people rely upon the church and the members of the church 
to help them through the time of stress and want and just basic thing, understanding of themselves. The church is one of those places that people rally around for protection, spiritually and physically. People run to the church for protection. No. I'm going to read this article out of the newspaper, today's newspaper. It said, Members of the clergy. Now, when you see all them articles, you know, you wonder if we are going in a Jamaica, you know. You really and truly, you know, it's like you, you, it's like you get upset more and more, you know. Remember last week, we said we still have to go put PG 13 on the church door, them. You still have to go put PG 13 on the church door. But listen to this. This is coming out of today's newspaper. Members of the clergy and policemen are the most consistent culprits having sex with girls under the age of 16. No, Jamaican people. Jamaican people. This is the two group that you look to for protection more than any other group in a Jamaica. The two group of people that the Jamaican people look for protection than any other group is the clergy and the police. Yet still, it's not me, I said it to Sisoka. Sisoka. The Center for Investigation of Sexual Offense and Child Abuse. That's where Sisoka is. This is the lady, the superintendent of police, Enid Rastroat, head of the center of Sisoka. Address Parliament, Giant Select Committee, reviewing sex offenses, legislation at God knows. According to Superintendent Ross Stewart, the police agency handled 1,094 reports of men having sex with children under 16 years old, which is legally the age of consent of which 664 were recorded in Kingston. She said that Sissoka arrest of a number of ministers of religion recently and similar charges was nothing new. Remember me I tell you about those altar boys? We are going from me and pick me. Altar boys I get altered. Well, she has said nothing new even before Sissoka was farmed. They did have abuse of young children. It's just now because we have different technology you now can come to this thing, uh, the news fast. Quote, having arrested these ministers, really it is not the first time we are constantly arresting high-profile members of the society, particularly churchmen and policemen. Yes, churchmen and policemen are really our two highest high-profile arrests, she told the committee. Ross Stewart also pointed out that the clear-up rate for the office officer offense was among the lowest among crimes, mainly due to the lack of cooperation from the victims. Quote, simply because most of our young girls, they give you a name and address of the person who had sex with them. And when you check these names and addresses, they are really fictitious, she said. Okay, because if I can't do this before the news, yeah. this is news in that level. He stated that, in a, she's, he stated, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait there. Um, restaurant. So why is it? All right. Now to find the right paper. Okay. <laughs> I will give a paper. I mean, I read that all I do. You know. Yeah. I suspect you don't have more reports because a number of parents are also very young and they are complacent with what happened with their daughters and economic plays a very big role too, she added. Rastrowat said that last year, Sissoka had his highest number of arrests for this crime at 49%. 
the young girls really they are into sex for whatever reason and so they mislead the police so we do not get enough information to go after the perpetrators as we would like she noted the rape victim they tell you everything about it because they feel that they were, were abused but the under 16 sex they really do not she said chairman of the committee of, and minister of justice Delroy Chuck said that it seemed that the country is plagued with the abuse of children, especially girls below the age of 16. In other words, it's not only the gun crime is devastating Jamaica, but it's pastors and police. It's not only gunmen that kill people in a Jamaica where you have to look out for. One time a little girl last. She could have a call the police. I say, alas, I can't tell you where I want to say, what's your name, honey? I name Sharon. Where you live? I live in Papine. So what you doing downtown? My mother was walking and I couldn't find. All right, let me hear you go to Papine. And you end up at Portmore. Opposite direction. What a wicked set of people them do you? The people them where I look for protect you. And protect your children, them. It's them you have to scare, fear them more. So when a police have sex with a little picnic now, and the mother here, and the mother say, you know something, we have to go to church because we have to get you to have this courage. If you do, if you do it's not our fault, but we have to pray to God that it do happen to you again. And you're going out of the church and it happened to you again. This come like gunman. This come like some gunman thing. I play the nation. So we need the government now to step into this thing. You know, a serious thing. The government have a problem not only with crime, gun crime, murders, but with pedophiles. Pedophiles. It's not muta spread propaganda, you know. So so can say that policemen and Parson are the biggest pedophiles in Jamaica. News time. This is the stepping razor. We was on the the, 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 the pedophile thing and the scourge that has been brought down on the nation by people who expect to protect our children. Now we have no one to turn to to protect our children more. Maybe only asphalt, concrete asphalt, we can leave our children with yeah. you know, this time. And, and, and say, take care of them for me. But then I see him turning up in color, and I don't trust people who wear them color up. Eh? No, look, look here. I don't know where Jesus is having that mind when he said that, you know. Because it's pure man, I see a follow him up and down the place. All right? So, the problem in Jamaica. It's not only the gunman them who are kill off the people them, but the people them who is you know say them have a thing where tell you say if a bad man have a gun, him can carry it, go to the person, and the person can turn him in without any problem. That is why them did all um my boy the other day, Kaima tried turning to those. Don't have the embassy, but them will amp on him and him get charged and get him he must charged from found guilty. And you have a whole heap of person now who them claim now said this person have as duty and a responsibility for help bringing criminals. But now we have to look upon it a different way now, brethren and sisters. We have to look upon it a different way. Because if the if, if the if the person them if somebody pass them and we don't know how much out there, just like how we don't know how much murder murder rate is because them still not find a whole heap of people who missing yet more than likely some of them people are dead we don't know get shot or whatsoever and get buried in some gully or burn up we are say if the pass them is dear to really guide and protect our children and now we can't go to the past, Rasta. We are getting scared now. It's like, you don't know who is who again, you know. You don't know who is who again. And the police, 
police love young pick me, you know. You must see some police are a flirt after some little school pick me in their uniform. And enough time so long and I watch them, you know. In their car, too, you know. In their police car. You see police stop and a call over a little school pick in their uniform. You have to wait over them, man, and rasta. But them intention is not noble. And now we see the article come out in the newspaper. If you confirm what we did have in a, well, at least when me did have in my mind all the while. Them is the highest pedophiles. The rate of pedophiles in Jamaica is highest amongst the two most the two most um, protection group that's supposed to protect we. It's a terrible thing. Really terrible thing. This is the stepping razor. Speaking of jazz, we say some things are going on now with the same lost in business we are going with the people. You know, you know say, several, about a year ago, you know, me I got me used to play down a, down a, um, down a, down a West Street. And I say, when I drive up, I see about four girls that come down the road. And the girls have on them panty and them brazier and a mesh thing over it. It's dance them ago, you know. Dance them ago. Panty, I kid you not. Them have on them panty, brazier and mesh. Now what I realized now, that was the beginning of something. Because one year, two years after, I see a normal thing for young ladies going out in a so I say no buy bikini again. People don't buy bikini again, you know. Them just pick and say them can go out in a them panty, them brazier, and put on something over it. And this is acceptable behavior for women. This is acceptable behavior in a Jamaica. Nothing wrong with it. It's like when you hear them talk about bikini contest in a party and wet this contest. Now, when a woman have on her panty and her brazier and she go in at the swimming pool, what is that? I mean, really? So the man, them sit up there and I watch this thing and go in at them in and they at Chris Ron and I don't know. Them do have no level of consciousness enough to say, you know, this shouldn't be acceptable. As a matter of fact, them is drawn to it. A terrible thing. A terrible thing. So does I say that Within the Jamaican society, you know, wrong become right, the abnormal become normal, good become bad. I hear people are saying, people are saying insane. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Okay, so, all right, we're going to change the subject, you know. Recently, we see where the president of America, Donald Trump, it's still difficult to say the president of America that I'll show. Believe you me, it's still difficult to say it. He's now saying that he is banning people from, I think it's five or six different Muslim countries. Them, they, 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 them is emphasizing, say, it's not religion them are fighting against. But them are trying to protect them borders. They are protecting their borders from potential, potential terrorists. Now people say that the place where them ban is not the place them where they reap havoc upon America. Like the, 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 the people them who did bomb up the building them come from Arabia. But maybe them are thinking of their mind say prevent is better than to cure. Therefore them don't want to Letting the people them and then them do the thing. They might prevent them from doing the thing. I think what the problem with it was that people who did have all green card citizenship in, a, in, a, in America was also being interrogated level, level. Now what we see happening now is that Jamaican people seem to be getting scared. Them getting scared of this because them say, oh, okay. What next Donald Trump will come out, come up with? Because you know say this man is so unpredictable that it's unbelievable. Well, we have John Pinnock, president of the Jamaican American Bar Association for the Northeast 
United States, Ed, the Jamaica Diaspora Advisor Board for the Northeast United States of Jamaica, Jamaican Diaspora Representative for the Northeast United States, and Attorney at Law with Specialty in Immigration and Deportation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. You know what we call it for. And we just want to find out. Yes. All right. Tell me something. Should Jamaicans, yes. should Jamaicans start to be scared or is just this is something that we're getting overactive about? Well, I don't want to put the fear in nobody, but let me just tell you what really is happening. The, the executive order that the president signed, that Donald Trump signed, really don't include Caribbean people, not Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. It's mainly targeting like people, groups that are Islam yeah. and Muslim groups, where he's worried that terrorists will come into the country. Yeah. What's happened though, Caribbean and Jamaican people get caught up because when they come into the country, there's all kinds of stuff happening at the airport and people are questioning them and, you know, there's a form that they were handing out, the I-407 and asking people to sign, giving out their green card. Yes, yes, that's so, right. You know, what, what the deal is that um, when Donald Trump was actually running for president um, of the United States, he made a statement that he was going to deport 11 million undocumented people yes. here. And mm. that's where my concern is. That's where the Jamaicans in the United States have to be concerned. And mm. what I've been telling everybody is that if you're a green card holder, go apply for your citizenship. No. Don't judge your food no more. This is now is the time that you need to become a U.S. citizen because there are some people here who have been green card holder for 15, 20, 30 years and they don't want to do it. And what they don't realize is that if you apply for your U.S. citizenship, you can still have your Jamaican citizenship and you can have dual citizenship because all you have to do is maintain your Jamaican passport and just travel with it when you reach a Jamaica. And when you're coming back, you use the American passport yeah. and you have dual citizenship. So they shouldn't be afraid, you know, to apply for citizenship because it's, it's going to benefit them. You know, in a lot of the people who are undocumented, we don't have the people who come here and overstay them visa or come in as somebody else did. They need to seriously sit down and figure out and consult with an attorney and find out whether or not they're eligible to get a green card because those are the ones that Trump was saying that he was going to get rid of. But to be quite honest, I think he's more concerned about conviction. People who hear and get themselves in a trouble who don't have the papers and have been convicted of crime. Those are the ones that is his priority right now. That, so, that, actually, yeah, so that, that, that actually was what I heard. The last yes. statement that you make, that was actually what I heard him say originally. That is criminals, it's even the Mexican thing. Him say, the, the yes. Mexican, them come over the border with them criminality and them rape and yes. some of them evil yes. end up in a California there and commit crimes and come out of jail and still there. there. So I think, still Jamaica, there there. yeah, so they must yeah. say, well, that, what I hear is that they must say, the, 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 the people them who is not legitimately in America and committing crimes. Mm -hmm. Them need them to realize the that a gun, them gun, I know. I know yes, enough yes, Jamaican that. All right, so what can, mm -hmm. what can they do now? What can they do? Well, this is, this is the good news. I just started in December, actually, and we're going to launch it in this month at Bishop Valley Church in Brooklyn. I started as Immigration and Deportation Prevention Task Force. Which, what that is, is a group of Jamaican lawyers came together and said we want to try to help the Jamaicans who have been convicted. Some of them have been convicted of crimes to prevent them from being deported. Because a lot of, um, who Donald Trump, you're right, who is targeting are the ones who've been convicted. And even them, them deserve representation too. The thing that everybody has earned a second chance in life. And if you commit a crime, you still, you know, you still should be represented by somebody to give you an opportunity. Maybe you can change your ways after, you know, maybe once you realize how serious this is. But the fact is that we started this um, task force and what we're doing is we're gonna create a hotline, um, which is we're in the world, in the process of doing that now, where people can call the hotline if any of their Jamaicans have been picked up. It's really for Jamaicans, but we're probably gonna have to extend it to some other Caribbean 
national so they have them out as well but it's mainly designed for Jamaica because I'm the lead I'm the person who started and I'm a Jamaican attorney and the lawyers that are on my team are pretty much all Jamaican with the exception of two black American attorneys who are criminal lawyers um, but we have immigration and criminal attorneys that are coming together to try to help out the Jamaicans before they send them back and we also have a team that's going down to Kingston and Montego Bay in March to meet with the deportees. So we're going to be rounding that up. Uh, we're trying to get venue up place big enough to fit all of the people. You don't, you, venue, you, know, you don't get the venue yet, you say. You don't get the venue. You know, in March, you say. March, yeah, the week of March, 15, 16, 17, that week. And I'd I really like if you, when, when you decide if you could have called back the radio station here. Yes, because man. You know so call that. the same trio card number. We can do that. Yeah. And make it more when so you can advertise it to me. Because it's going to be big. I don't know if you heard that in 2015, I went to Jamaica and returned two deported siblings, brother and sister, back to the United States as, as, as citizens. Mm. Because... Them get deported because they never, nobody never, nobody was representing them. And what happened is that when they went to before the immigration judge, nobody even asked whether or not the mother was a citizen. They just sent them back. And a lot of Jamaicans are like that. Some of them actually sign out after them citizen time. Then just sign the paper and say they want to go home because they're tired of being in prison. So a lot of those people have been deported. So. What we do and when we go down is to meet with them individually. We're going to try and bring down 10 attorneys, mm -hmm. criminal and immigration lawyers, to go down there and meet with them individually to try to figure out if they're eligible to come back. Yeah, so yeah. that's a big project that we're working on that whole entire week. But, but this week is March. This sound, this sound like, days. where did I go on in England already? This, this It looks like it's the yeah. same thing the Trump I bring up where did I go on, I go on in England for a long time. Yeah, well, England was had this big, large, deported group that just get sent back. So we're trying to join forces with them. We have somebody from Canada that's going to be coming on board with us. Because a lot of people, Jamaicans, get deported from Canada, too. Yeah. So we want to try to see if there's any way that we can help bring some of the Canadians and the U.S. deportees, you know, back. And the British, too, if we can get somebody. We don't have a lawyer from England yet. Yeah, all right. That's helping us. But we have somebody from um, Canada and we have the, all the United States attorneys that are going to be going down with us and helping us to work with, with these that, yeah. and there's no charge we're not yeah. charging them, we're just going to go down to them, we want to present, talk about what our project is, meet with everybody one on one and then figure out if we can help them. Uh, let me ask you something back. let me ask you something here, Donald Trump mm -hmm. said that I don't know how it affects Jamaica because I've never heard Jamaica do this but he said that He's going to deport people back to their country, and if the government of that country don't accept them, he will lay down certain laws against the country. Uh, you know, yeah, really well, yeah, because he, he, let me tell you, he made a statement before that he's going to do extreme vetting, which means that he will stop people from coming into the United States because a lot, a lot of them complain that it's open borders. And it's really a mess, and nothing is really happening to really protect the borders. And that's why we have the problem that we have with terrorism in this country. But Jamaicans don't really fall in that category. I mean, we don't, you know, we're not, we're not the terrorists. You know, the worst we have is scammers, you know, dealing with scamming. That's our biggest, biggest problem right, right there. Mm -hmm. But the, the fact is that he's saying that he's going to, charge the country if they don't want to take their nationals, but I don't think J Jamaica fall in that because usually all you want to do is identify somebody have a birth certificate from Jamaica and then accept them. You know, and Jamaica just turn people back. I've never heard that. Yeah, that's what I said. All I never hear. Of no, man. All right, so Jamaica not turn people back. As long as you have a birth certificate, you should say born at Jamaica. You, you know, all right, they'll so accept. What happened to the, yeah. the, the, the children them who is of Jamaican parentage that live in America do something? Them, them, them don't know Jamaica. Them grow up in America, become criminal because of the American system. And then them find that right. them is Jamaica you now and they want to deport them to Jamaica. How oh, 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 yeah. oh that work out now? Them now have no choice. Them, them, those are, especially those are the ones that we're trying to find a way legally to keep them in the United States. So that's what my team is trying to see if we can do. Because there's a whole bunch of kids 
who fall in that category, mm. who don't never been, some of them leave and them are one or two years old and they never ever been back. So and they don't know anybody and them, they are adults now and they want to send them down. Yeah, and yeah. that is a mess because, you know, these kids don't have anywhere to go. But there's an organization called Fury, F-U-R-I, Family Unification Resettlement Initiative. Carmita Alvarez is the, is the lead on that, that organization. And what they do is they meet with the deportees when they come down to Jamaica. Yeah. And they kind of help them find families. They help them find a place to stay. If they don't have a place to stay, they help them find food and, you know. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. get funding from different different sources. Sources, yes. So, so you are so saying... They, so what you are saying is that those who have green card must get themselves together quick. Those who do have no green English. card must apply to attorney and they can contact yes. you. Yes, sign one lawyer so they can talk to an attorney quick and see if they can, they can get themselves started out. Because there's several ways, you know. I mean, most of the people are not even aware that Obama had signed that deferred action, which is the dream act, mm. to help. People, kids, young people who are here who under 35 should be able to get themselves straightened out. Right. You know, and that's a good thing. Because if you was, you came to the United States before you turned 16, right. and you, you're still here, and you're under 35, you're eligible for that. And you can apply for a work permit and a social security number, driver's license. You're able to get that. Right. But a lot of people don't know that. If you're dating somebody and you and them is a boyfriend or a girlfriend, go marry them. And they must citizen, make sure you file, make them file to you. And but you don't have to live together. They can't do the live one live here, so one live there, so no more. Yeah, because immigration investigated us. So if you're living together. Hello? Hello? What? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. yeah, you got cut off a while ago. Yeah, you can't hear me now. No, I'm saying that the couples have to live together because immigration is yeah. is investigating no marriage. Convenience so. mar no mm -hmm. convenience marriage. <laughs> yeah, that's no word no more. That's no word no more. <laughs> you need to live in the same house because it then show up yeah. and out at one o'clock. Yeah. You know, the man that asked to see your husband. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have to be there. Give me the light and receive. see. clothes and yeah. his shoes. Yeah, give me the, the, the car receipt and see who they put the car receipt. I put have a giant bank account and all them things there. Yes, bank, you know it. Bank account, um, lease to get up, to All right, we're, we're going to get break up. All right, Miss, Miss Pino, something wrong with the line, but you, you, you tell me where we are here, you tell me, give us further information, and if we need some more information, we will make sure that we are going to bother you again, okay? No, anytime, man. Feel free to call me anytime. Yeah, and so anything, once we set up the dates, the judge yeah, is going to know where we're going to be. Yeah. I'll call you back and I'll let you know exactly where we're going to be. Okay, give I time. Promise. Give time. All right, my dear. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was Joan Pinnock, attorney at law, specialty immigration and deportation. Jamaican Lives for Representative for the Northeast United States, President of the Jamaican American Bar Association for the Northeast United States. This is the Stepping Razor. This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. Yes, Eel. Yes, Eel, because of the cutting edge. Yeah, this time from Peru. Yeah, Mutabaruka, this. What are you saying? Yes. I live in the day, I'm not going to be all the other day in the hospital. And then, when you yeah. push the pass out. Yeah. Yeah, just tell me. You're the panier, yeah, you know. Yo, you're the panier, you know. Yes, yeah, you know. All right. Yeah, we take out to the hospital as a bloody thing. Take out to the hospital. Just like a minor sickness. What is, the minor, like sick what is the minor sickness? Ah, uh, like a little flu down around. And I did. Mm. It's a child. You understand? Yeah, ma'am, I'll listen to you, man. Yeah, so I can get the KPH. Next day, I'm going to get the KPH and the skin out of the car of the skin of the car of the skin. I'll go out and then I'm going to get the permission from me, from, from our son, to sign anything or our daughter. And I'm just, I'm just go out and lie. I'm just cut up my mom, put it in the car of the and I just have to come on a fitness and tell me what I'm going to for. Yeah, but I know that you didn't tell me originally. Yes, I have. I thought, what I'm saying No, to. hold on, man, hold on, man. You may attack half here, you change up the whole thing. I know that you didn't tell me originally. 
Yeah. You know, remember where yeah. you tell me originally? Yeah. The, where you yeah. tell me originally? Yeah. We were telling you about the hospital with my own lady. Or no. we take her to the, we take her to the hospital for a minor sickness. No, but I know that you did tell me. Yeah. Yeah, what? Well. No, you Mr. tell me. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yes, sir. All right. This is what I'm saying. Yes. What I'm saying. Yes. Doctors and nurse. They're supposed to do godly work. No, we no, 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 yeah, because I feel a little sickness. That what little sickness? Minor what was sickness. It? I know that you didn't tell me. I know that you didn't tell me. No, what, what you are listening to me? Yeah. But the next day I go back to hospital, I see my mother chilled up in bed. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. my yeah. nose. Yeah. Yeah. You never tell me about, about assist in our, in our, in our you, know, you know. You never tell me about that. Um, yeah, the abscess. Vietnam, man, Vietnam, Vietnam. You see now, you, 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 you tell me where you tell me half year. No tell me about you carry go your mother and you hang her up and cut her up and all them. So the kind of that you didn't tell me. I know that you didn't tell me. You change your thing. Listen to me. You tell me say you go for uh, abscess and them cut yes. the abscess and, and when them go back yes. now, them say it's earner. Yes, listen to me, Mota. Yeah, listen to you, but yeah. you're not telling the truth, the truth, the right thing. Where you yes. tell me? No, yeah. listen to me. This is what my ask. Yeah. Them say, to have abscess, I'm going to have back to jaw. I'm yeah. going to have back to jaw. Yes. And, that, and them say they want to do an operation on it because yes. it's, it's causing the sickness. Yes, yes. Them operate on her. Yes. With the operation. And the next day they come to the hospital, they see her chin up. Them say them do the operation and deal with the abscess. Mm hmm and that day I go to hospital, my mother said them cut her belly, which we have, she has three picnic, three big people out her belly, which is the same spot, them cut, them cut her, saying that them looking for her now. And then they are, we don't know about her now, I don't care how to doctor for about her now, I care how to doctor about the abscess and her back jaw, and the sick, and the look of sickness that go, go around. Understand? But the her now abscess, you know? All right, which is, you don't know what I'm doing, what I'm doing inside our belly. All right, we, they will have know. You go to the doctor, them say she have abscess on her bottom. Her bottom, yeah. Yeah, and then now them cut it. Them, yes, them, and squeeze it out. And so them are going to do operation on it. Them are going to do operation. And now the operation now, when you come back now, them say it's hernia. Yeah, them say, she say, them, them, them are say, she... She signed say cut earner. And you know what? She signed cut earner. Who signed it? Who signed it? Who signed it? Oh, she just signed. They must say my mother signed. So who signed for get rid of the abscess? Who signed for get rid of the abscess? Who signed for that? Who signed to get rid of the abscess? Yes. All right. Who signed to get rid of the abscess? It was my niece. So your niece signed for get rid of the abscess? Yes. But she signed for get rid of the earlier. I. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we don't know about no earner. No, we don't know about no, but you know about earner when you go back. Yeah, when you go back, no, no, when you hear about the earner is when they she die. The next, oh, next she, she, so, so, so she dead, when you go back, she dead, and them say it's the earner, kill her. It's the earner both inside her and, and all these things. I don't understand how they operate and something, and to both inside her, her. Mm. Them operate on it already and work on it. So how long after them operate, she dead? How long after? All right, to take a boat. To take a boat now. Actually, a, a week to me. I don't think it's too much. A week take after a she dead? A week after she dead? Yes. So on was key, on was key. Yeah, let me go to after today. Yeah. And in the night, them, say, them call my sister on her phone and I'm going to meet and tell them, say, my mother dead. Yeah. Some of us so shock and frightened. Understand me better? Yeah. Yes. That, uh, I mean, I don't like that. I don't know if I'm going to sit and sit down on the floor. I don't know if I'm going to really 
And them say them have a, them have to do operation for the access to the bottom because it's car for the city. Mm. So we think it was a minor as for the bottom. But then go inside our belly, them cut our belly, she have she a force. She big man. She big pick me. We have pick, we have pick me. Mm. You see them, she will cut her in the other time now. And yet still she have sugar to them. She have sugar and then she will cut her up like that, Mr. Mouta Baruka. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Because, and then four sides, and when I tell you, like, the man four sides of China and, uh, and can go up and like them up. So you didn't read, read so, so you, so you did read what she had signed? You never read what she had signed? Huh? When, them, when you see her go sign it, you never take it and read it? No. Because the person who didn't sign the first one, she never did it when she had signed the second one. No, I'm telling you this. You never did it. When you sign into the first part, the first, the thing is, you did the first operation, which is the access on the bottom. Yeah. You never did it. Yeah, but you have to know somebody else did sign. No, they, they're telling my sister that she signed. Or sickly woman in bed with shoes in her room, shoes in her ears and her nose. Ah, uh, they didn't take out our lab. They didn't just do operation from at about two years ago. Right. Or then to make sure she has signed to something she can't handle me for her hand and those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Can we take the experience of the thing, you know, how the, the guy, this guy just come and he told my mother sign and, and she underneath her jeep and who was in our room and all uh, these places and our uh, belly cut and them places. So you never pro pro so we, when you say to my aunt have to sign, you never protest against it and you take it down. You is what to are, not your mother. You, not your mother. Yes, it's not, it's so my mother, but my sister is there, my niece is there. Yeah, so why so, you never take it from them and read it and see if you're going to sign it or not? Well, they never really confirm way about that, like them last year. If you read this, I'll no, no, never. But, but, but your mother, you your mother, wait no bridge, and your mother lay down there. So if your mother yeah, lay down there and you realize that she no, have no consciousness for signing, you know, should I take it from them and see what they must say? Muta, she is on my heart, on my yeah. soul. Yeah. She is on my heart, on my soul, on my mind. The Almighty Devil is showing me the right now. Yeah. And I hear my voice. Understand? Yeah. Yes, yeah, me and my sister alone on this mission. Right now, my mother passed out. If you know, say, is that the mother who cut her up and anything there? Like? You'll have to keep her at the yard. And try to look after your minor sickness as she yeah, does. Yeah, because yeah. we never know of the access neither in the motor. It's them is telling me that. Mm. But I don't see my mother after the care of the the first day. And thing I tell them about the sickness. Them, mm. them call back in the night after my mother admit. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Them call back in the night after my mother admit. And I say, to what? I don't know. They don't give me no. Them say she have access on her bottom. You say, eh? Hey. Yeah, you repeat that. You repeat that a million at one time, Bridget. All right. What may I say to you, sir, now? Because yeah. you, you's not the only person with a problem like that at KPH. I know people, even, even young baby mother go down at that place there. Because one time the hospital there was the best hospital in the Caribbean. I know yeah. people, especially baby mothers go down there and them baby dead. No, for you not hear about it. You not hear about it. No people go down at the hospital there and them go for minor thing that way you are say and them dead. We don't have no recourse and no, we, we, we can't we don't know what we can do about it. Uh, we don't know what we can do about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what they need? They need some they need captain like some elder person around those young Young doctor, like in like in the young girl and young girls, they yeah, are the mother of them. Them come like, like in the them madly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And killing people. Straight from my heart. Yeah, yeah. They need captain like a big person around them to tell us that they're first of all right, you need to drink something or something yeah, or you need to eat yeah. or go back to the lab. They need those type of big person. Yeah, man. They need big person around those young fellow. Me go down there and hear nurse and tell old people bad word. A nurse and okay. tell old people about bad word because they, 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 they couldn't come out of the bed and them then they feel hit on the ground and them really. And I tell her about it. I tell my brother, say, brother, you can't stay here. You have to go find somewhere. You have to go find somewhere to put you, but nothing else. So. But, but we, they need a captain, definitely. They need a big, yeah, big doctor, yeah. like a big man, a big man, doctor who professional, who can tell them to yeah, that person yeah, and yeah, they yeah. can be able to drink coconut water and can be yeah. whatever and be able to eat. 
All Let right, me just start a civil round them. Some big people like we have to move. We have to move. We have to move. I don't feel them current, brother. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. We have to move, Bridget. We have to move. We, we, we hear you, you play and we hear your heart break. And we feel it too because we know so you're not the first one. And you're not going to be the last one. And we don't know what Shit, to do. I don't want to go in a lot of things because... We have to move. My father, my father was taken to be here, you know. Yeah. By my mother, you know. Yeah. I remember when I was a little boy, my father was a little sick this day, you know. But my mother is a lady with them, them, them love doctor. Bridget, so Bridget, you are holding the line because we have to move. We, we have to move, we have to move, Bridget. We have to move. So you got to move on to an expert. You got to move to an expert. No, we have moved to the advertisement then where them pay people for. All right. All right? Yes. Yeah. So I hold the line. Let me tell you, you know, say, I'm more than one, I'm more than one call and link where we get about Kingston Public Hospital. I don't get my band to, you know. But, I don't know, maybe the, the bridge, I say, you need some bigger doctor because up here, you doctor don't they know, and some of them still look like them at the examination and them have them and look about people. Professionally, professionally. So I don't know what can be done. Maybe the ministry of health need to really examine why is it. And the problem with it is that you don't hear about it. You don't hear about these things. You have to have. I'm sorry, say I already have a television, you know, television station because if it was a television station, it would have been more pronounced when you actually take a camera and go inside there. Go deal with certain things. They don't call it investigation, outside investigation, and really serious, serious about it. But it needs some serious investigation. Yeah, man, it needs some serious investigation. What is really happening at KPHS? KPH and and um um the 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 the, 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 the over the other side where the people them have picked me. <laughs> I get twist dog at all. What? A terrible, it's a terrible thing. So much, so much different things are going from one to the left to the right to the left to the right. It's like the place traumatize you. Yeah, man, the place getting you having some serious traumatic experiences because look at now. You have a place on like King Street where supposed to get care for care for title for care. Me go up to Kansas Spring to get a title for a car. My car mash up now. Insurance company say, the only way I can get nothing now for it is if I bring papers, including the, the title. No, I can't find the title, so they say apply for a new one. A uh, 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 copy. I go to the police station, sign up this. I go pay the money up there, so. And they tell me six weeks. I say six weeks? Six weeks? What's that? What are you dealing with? The people that might show me say motor, I don't the normal time, you know. The normal time that a six week. No, you know, so a six week gone since. A six week gone since me apply for that title, you know. But guess what now? When me check now, Wagwan, me here say the machine we are printed. <laughs> uh, me here say the machine we are print the title, them broke dog. No, this is like the ice of so called third world country, you know. No, at two weeks now, I ask Shamari, I forget somebody don't let me talk to them, you know, what is this? And two weeks now, here people them say, them in, she, the lady at them say, tell Shamari, say she in meeting. Last week she was in meeting, the week before she was in meeting. You see them people, you know, them people make you say things where you don't know, and come to conclusion where you don't know. And they also get corrupted. Because corruption can't make the thing work properly, you know. But you have to involve in the corruption. You see? You can't get your license without go, go, go drive feet, you know. You can't pass your car without it pass. You can't can do a bush and can't drive or you can't pass, you know. It's so the corruption, corruption come in. So Jamaica a feed off of corruption and it make people who don't want to get involved in the corruption become corrupted. No, after me, I wait, 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 wait. No, I mean, I say, all right. No man say, all right. Never get me things. I 
six weeks gone, and I still not hear nothing, you know. And when me, when me feel, say, all right, me I'll send somebody down there. Me, you say, the machine now print. Then nobody no knows, say, the machine now print down the rest. Of, I mean, everybody's supposed to know the machine, the machine now print. Did it take you so long from, la, from, from last year? No, no, February, you know. From December, the machine now print, you know. You can't have a place like that. It's government service that. You can't do nothing about it, you know. Because them still have to collect their money. Them still collect my money. Them collect whosoever money want title for them care. It's just a collection of money. And then you have to wait. You have to wait, you know. You can't do nothing, you know, because they are the only one who do this thing. You have to wait. I mean, I about to wait. In this age of science and technology, computer and internet and everything there, and if you get a title for your car, you have to wait six weeks. And then only if you go here now, say the machine broke down. And look how long I try to get Shamar if you get somebody down there. And then she call and she somebody tell her, say, well, what you say, what you say, Shamar? Huh? No, no, the lady where we are in the interview. Yes, that no matter you make your whisper for her. Oh, she keep meeting with some people from Barbados. Yes. No, what she said the day, the week before. That's what she said for this week. What she said the week before. I thought she said this week. Last week she said she. She, she got a toilet. She must that. She must have gone and she have diary and can't come out of the toilet to talk to people. It's these people making talk things that you don't want to say, and it just sound like you get crazy because. It's a simple thing, you know. Maybe she didn't talk to me and say, look here. I soon come out of the bathroom, call her back 10 minutes. And then we could have talked to her and get a clarification about the thing. But no, me pay my money already. Me pay my money. And I know me one. When we go up at tax office at Kansas Spring Road, I know people out there wait for them, them, them wait name them. You know, the brother, a brother up there tell me, him said them go by month and year. And them not reach my month yet, not a year. <laughs> That's it. They would have there 1492 to rise when Columbus come here. <laughs> you know, it's it terrible. It's terrible. We don't understand that. We don't understand why in this modern time, if you go to a government office, it takes you six weeks to get anything at all. You're not supposed to take six weeks for nothing. Just like when they can't get the passport in a two days, if you pay more money. All uh, them think that's some scamming, you know. And some scamming. The government has scammed the people, they might not go out and say they might not be scamming. If you if if you want the passport for the ordinary level, it takes you like a month. But if you want it overnight or one day, you pay how much thousands of dollars. That means that they can't do it. They can't do it, but they might make money off of people. And that is the way the cookie crumbs. You don't know which part of the money go. You tell you your pass the IMF test. The other day, them have prayer, prayer breakfast. And the prayer breakfast, one of the pastors say, the prayer breakfast working. You know why I say the prayer breakfast are work? Because we pass the IMF test continuously. And what kind of madness is that? The prayer breakfast work because we pass the IMF test. So what do I say now? God has listened and I say, why well, we need to make them pass the IMF test? You know, because they pray enough. Every year at this time, they pray. Them oppress the people them and January them pray over the oppression. Terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. So me don't know. Me don't know if the machine will start work tomorrow. Maybe the machine will work tomorrow. So me hope to the machine will work because the car wash up. I believe if you claim for the car, I'll be clear for the car, car get nobody off for the whole car. We broke dog. You understand? We need it. Okay, and other people better talk for other people too. Better talk for other people. Okay. We we'll shift the subject. You know, the IRFM I got um have a, a tribute. It's really a tribute and is the first the first what do we call it now time lifetime achievement award. And this will be bestowed upon Dr. Jimmy Cliff. And this is stated for Sunday, February the twelfth, at the Summerton All Age and Infant School in St. James. Good afternoon. Yes, blessed love, my brother. Ah, long time I don't talk to you, though. 
<laughs> yes, yes. You sound like you're foreign, though. You sound like you're foreign. I'm foreign with you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm foreign with you. Where are you, Morocco? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in Florida. <laughs> you're in Florida, not Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jimmy Cliff, you know what's uh, you must remember, and I'm going to tell the people them, I summertime I get my biggest bus. I mean, I talk about transport, I talk about come out there as a dub poet, Muta Baruka, nobody don't know Muta Baruka, come on the stage every time I hear the song, and that was history after that. Big, big concert of a summertime. Uh, I know you remember that. And the yeah, f- the concert day come after we come back from South Africa. Yeah. So we go South Africa in, in the apartheid time. Yeah. And then we, we pass through Brazil and we come back. The yeah. vibe, and we say, we want to put on a, a, big a free concert. concert for the people. Yes, yes. And I must tell the people them now that the first time I left Jamaica, the first time I left Jamaica, I go with Jimmy Cliff and Oneness in a Cuba. <laughs> that was the first time I got go uh, in a foreign country go to any show. So... Jimmy Cliff, no respect, no respect. Respect, said to you, brother. Respect to you, man. Because I remember the first time when the eyes meet the eyes mm. when up, up when we were doing the rehearsal. Eh? Yes, the yeah. energy just feel right. Cause we look on you and you look on me, no words, no part. Yes, yeah. But energy is meet, and we just know say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. You have other, you have other, um, same contracts with other ones, like Bob Marley, in, in a them time. Yeah, man, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, well, the story of Bob Marley is like, uh, you know, I start my musical career, and I had, like, number one records and them thing, and... I audition Des Van Decker and Des Van Decker go and tell Bob Marley, say, well, I'm going to meet this bridge in Jimmy Cliff. And then he send Bob Marley down and I mean, audition Bob Marley and pick GM songs and that was the beginning of Bob Marley's career. So you used to audition for Beverly's? Don't I, don't I dance with that? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Me and Derek Morgan. Yes, yes. But Derek Morgan was more senior than I. Oh, but, yes, yes, yes. You know, that deal with Bob Marley was just, I was there. Mm. And Bob just walking and, yeah, that was it. It's true, it's true. All right, we notice, I don't know if I remember, I, 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 um, I didn't ask you this before, but I'm going to say it again. I notice uh, you skip out one genre of Jamaican music. Yeah. Rock yeah. steady. You don't have you know rock steady music. You know that skip out, no. You want me to tell you? Yeah. It's not deliberate. Because I, 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 I go to the UK. I got invited to go to the UK by Island Records. Mm. And during that period, Rock Steady come in. And I missed a period in terms of the recording. But I used to do them on stage. Yeah. But whatever, in terms of the recording, I missed the Rock Steady period. Mm. So how long you spent in England? June, I think Rock Steady lasts about, wow, four years or two years. Which one them say? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right. So which one of the hit them was your first big hit to make you put you out there internationally? Apart from the other they come movie, but which song you would have said this is the song where did it for Jimmy Cliff? Yes, it was wonderful world, beautiful people. Okay, okay. And um I came back to Jamaica after being frustrated in England that what I went to England wasn't happening. I came back to in, came back to Jamaica via Brazil, and on the way to Jamaica via Brazil, uh, Mexico, Panama, all through South America, Argentina, I write a bunch of songs, mm-hmm. and among that bunch of songs was wonderful, beautiful people, mm-hmm. and I come down to Jamaica and record that song, and that was the first international hit, That's and enough. the newspaper them in England told it up say. Mm-hmm. Respectability to reggae. Yeah. All right. A whole lot of people don't know that in the sixties you had a big, uh, what them call rebellious it, amongst the the war for the war in Vietnam, and it was almost like an anthem amongst the people them who did that. 
demonstrate against the war in our Vietnam and the song the name Vietnam. That was one of the bunch of songs that I wrote mm. during that time period and I come back and I and record it along with Wonderful World. Yes, and that was uh that was like my first uh, social comment or my first uh protest part of me that people recognize yeah. due to that song, yeah. Yes. And then you have um Many rivers to cross, which is like I think this is the most. That is your most to me. That is the most covered song Jimmy Cliff make. Cause I have so much different cover version of that song. It's unbelievable. Oh, you have to the same thing. Yeah, man, no doubt about that. That is that is the most covered song. Yes. Yes, uh, I mean seriously. I don't want to tell you though. It's the first time. I go across from England to go over to Europe and I see the white clip of Dover and I say, oh, and this Jimmy Cliff I sing about. <laughs> <laughs> I never have a clue. When I see about white clip of Dover, I never have a clue about it until I start touring. We are across yes. from the ferry for go over in, in our Europe there. Yes. I think you land yes, Brussels. Yes, yes. I think of Brussels you land first when you go over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm missing the white I tell you I was going to that part of Europe, but me, most of my travels then Mm. was going to France. Yeah, you're going, you're going to France, France, France too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to France. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. we see IRFM now involved with this thing, Lifetime Achievement Award for Dr. Jimmy Cliff. Just when you thought that your accolades was over, here comes another accolade. How do man feel about it? Muta, we're another man life's end. That's exactly where mine begins. Mm. So, I don't want anyone to feel say, okay, I'm give me a lifetime achievement award that, you know, a good start. May I start again? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I may have the things to prove it, you know. May have the music them to prove it. Yes, yes. I have a lot of new music that I'm just recording. Yes, so, okay. Yeah, 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 it's well appreciated, man. It's well appreciated, yeah. Yeah, because we know your journey. Because remember, the last time you was in the studio with me was Martin Moplan and you come here. That's right. And we know your journey carry you from that level, carry you through Islam. And, I mean, I, I guess it was, you was Christian in our youthful days. You know, most of us were. And now I recognize yeah. that you, 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 you make that what you call it, total revolution coming 360 degrees to yourself. Yeah, man, you see, Muta, like most of us, mm. as African descendants, yeah. in a, that part of the, this part of the world, most of us who have some little bit of consciousness and I want to know who I am. I want to know who I am. Mm. You know, so always searching for the truth about who am I? Who am I? You know, and you come up with the Christian doctrine. Mm. Christian doctrine. I'm sure you know about yourself. So, yeah, man, you remember the first time when a Rasta man come in a summer and Brother Red, he's a Rasta man. So, and he first started telling me about Africa mm. and Rasta and say, I am a Coptic and a Theocracy. Mm. Now, I forgot to look up the word Coptic and Theocracy <laughs> and what the word it means. You know, so the sign say Coptic means the hub. The hub of what Christianity shoot off of, you yeah, know? Yeah. And theocracy is, of course, God, uh, God, God rule. God rule. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I'm saying, yeah, that, uh, that brother in that heart post, okay. So, I mean, everybody's afraid of brother in the summertime. Mm. And the first last of man walking in there. Mm. And but we was the man who not follow brother in that bush every day. Mm. So, yeah, then after that, now, you know, my journey to. Um, to the United States, and we, we start to read one book about um, what the Muslims want, what the Muslims believe, mm. and those things. That was our Kamazi, that was the Elijah Muhammad movement. Okay. Black Muslim. Black Muslim, yeah. And then, yeah, me and Prince Buster now tried to go in a Harlem where um, Malcolm X was supposed to be speaking. And before we get the war, let me, get, let me shoot Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And I see him daily. So, 
yeah, some transition from the Christianity after asking so much question and them couldn't answer me to Rasta, which gives me a better foundation of who I am, looking for who I am, then to black Muslim, which also gives me a good foundation of who I am at that time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I continue my search, which lead me to Africa, not just Africa, not all of Africa, but specifically in ancient Egypt. When I say ancient Egypt, I mean mm -hmm. Ethiopia, which encompass Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Sudan, mm -hmm. Kenya, um, Libya. Um, Uganda, all of that area yeah. that encompassed ancient Egypt, you know, yeah. what I call Ethiopia, that time was Kush yeah, and that, so yes, yeah. so I said, well, when I search, I said, well, look now I can find myself I see myself in a this I even, re when I was in England I even went to I was going to weird, I was going to so. <laughs> you see, Rose Oh, what is? <laughs> I will catch it for a different video. Yes, step in. Yes, Mota, greetings. Bless him, man. Yes, Mota, I have a question for you. Yeah, not the day, yeah, man. King James will call me at the night, man. No, not the day, yeah, brethren. Well, I will call him, I will say, last week, Donald Trump will be jamming and tell me, and tell me, and tell me, and daddy, you know? You yeah, know what? Donald Trump, Jimmy, and me, and my father, you know, so I say, come like you have a new brother, you know. Why are you obsessed with father and mother business, man? But Donald Trump, Jimmy, and me, and father, master. Come like you have a virgin birth, you know, come like you have a virgin birth. We have to go move, do you know, we have to go move, because we are not entertain that another day, I believe you. Let me talk to you about somebody. Yes, here. Yes. Isaac, Isaac. Yes, rest in my fire. Yes, brother, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, man, we give thanks and bread. I mean, like, you look there, if you make there, you know, at 11, tell them, I'm going to go and go and with a thing down in there. I want to have a step young to sell her, you know. Mm. Yeah, man, I got to want to do some of those. You look there, I make there, you know, I go and I make the public here, too. That yeah. anyone who wants to really try to come with us, we'll send to Diana, you know. Yeah, all right. Them free for coming. Yeah, man. Unity lane, 13 unity lane, I want to have one. Yeah, give thanks. Bless up, my brother. Huh? That's right. Time and time again, black men have found the to mobilize black nations. Christianity had Martin Luther King and Islam Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X. My brother, my sister, it's time for the Hebrew to uphold Jehovah's covenant. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Wow, well, you know, uh, finally get to about three weeks now. Yes, try to get um, you. Yeah, yeah, get me, you yeah, yeah, win things for last night. <laughs> <laughs> me, you, you win things last night. Yes. You know, easy for win things for Harry do. You, you deserve it still. Yeah. But that's a car for a man, I say. It's my month this and it's the 14th. It's my date. So what are you giving for your birthday? I mean, I give for my birthday. You yeah. say you never remember me. Tell us, I mean, never forget your birthday. No, yet. but know that you remind me say your birthday. I'll say, what are you giving I for your birthday? I don't even give you something. On my birthday. Then that's what I'm asking. Give me what me give, give you. Me. What? Be give me what me give you. I wish you talk about it. Call you and big you up. Me say, what are you giving me for your birthday? I don't even see you come for my, for my birthday. I'm my birthday. Then don't tell me say you nah, give me nothing. Then nah. don't tell me say you nah, give me nothing. <laughs> don't tell me say you nah, give me nothing. Yeah. Because you're supposed so, to thank me for your band. Do I thank you? Yes. Yeah. I am um, I think I did my father and my mother. Never know say you, Muta. Thank you for my band. Your father is your father, but your father don't know. <laughs> your, your father is not your father, but your father don't know. Anyway. All right, Muta, I'll be up my grandson and celebrate his second birthday today. Okay. Yeah. I'll be up the taxi man, Zekel, otherwise known as Fort. 
Okay. I'm just me out the road a while ago. All the while me hear you know, you never big me up yet. I'm big him up a morning, you know. All right. All right. I didn't say I'm never here. You know, if me big him up, him colleagues, I'm going to tell him. But I'm going to still know you. But I'm going to still know you. But I'm going to still know you. I'm going to tell him. I'm normally an iron player. I will play, all right. I will play, man. All right, mama, give thanks. All right, I'll take care. Yeah. Right. One God, one aim, one destiny. Motor. Blessed. Good evening. Good evening. Where are the motor? Step in Reza. Yeah. yeah. Motor, me just hear a thing on the radio. We are better just calling. You know, so some of the doctors don't know what they do. No, they don't know. No. They don't know what they do. 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 They don't the medication they didn't give me. Right. Nah, help me. Instead of it help me. Make it work. Maybe some more than I talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me, instead of it help me, motor. Let me sit more. I'm going to go to the pain. So, when I go back to the doctor, I tell them. The doctor tell me, say, you must eat enough food and tell me to take the medication. I said, doctor, <laughs> you can't tell me if you eat more food. Because I don't know how to eat your amount of food and eat. No. So, I my, my, always a cook. So you can't tell me if you eat more food. I think when I tell you, say, before you take the tablet, you must make sure you, you eat, eat something. You food before you take it. Yeah. But the tablet, then, give you a side effect and tell me to take it. Yeah. Because I pain, pain me, I feel. So, I'm not going to take no more. You know what I do? So, what them say I'm to you? Them say I have seizure and I have high blood pressure. Okay. So, so the tablet, then, give me the pressure. You say, me tell me, take the pressure pill, then, I go back to the doctor. Yeah. Then, say, the pressure extremely high. You know what I do? Me stop you see, you must. You must start taking pressure pills. You know, you start do drink sour stuff, please, and cinnamon leaf, and boil ginger and drink. And then you go, go back to the doctor and tell me that the pressure normal. Drink, you drink sweet and well and well and well and well and well. For those of you who are listening, because you always say you drink sour stuff, leaf and what? You boil the sour stuff, leaf and drink it. Because sour stuff, leaf good for your nerves. Okay, okay. And the the cinnamon leaf, good for the pressure. So you mix up two of them and you set them separate. You mix them with weight and you boil ginger tea. So you mix up the two of them and you mix it separate. No, you just boil them one one in time you boil them. Sometimes you boil sour stuff, leaf tea. Sometimes I boil the cinnamon leaf okay, tea, and sometimes I okay. beat up the, the grater, the ginger, yeah, I'm and boil some ginger okay. tea and drink. And it normalizes the pressure? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So about the seizure now? The seizure, go on, tell you something, sometimes it lick me, you know, but sometimes to me, I just drink the sour stuff leaf, you know. Okay. And somebody has said, Mr. Must buy the rosemary. I never tried the rosemary yet, but I'll okay. try it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if it works, it works. I was here to talk about the pastor, the minute motor. Mm -hmm. I chew it, I chew it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember one time, I just come from Clarendon as a little, as a little country girl, you know. Mm -hmm. And me got a mommy park Baptist church. I first time I got, second time I got a mommy park Baptist church. So as a little country girl. So, you know, like a picnic, then go to church and they have the little money to buy ice cream and then little mm -hmm. weird. So my mother gave me 10 cents, 5 cents to buy ice cream after church over and 5 cents to choose a collection. So, two me never have no change now. Me chew the old 10 cents until the pastor said, I forget about 5 cents. Just when the bicycle man come where I sell the ice cream now, mm. everybody, everybody is picking up by ice cream. And me no have no money to buy ice cream. So me start make nice and start ball. So me want my 5 cents. You know, no, so then send come tell my mother, send me a ball for 5 cents. Mm. And my mother now send me back to church. But mm. every time I remember it, no, me always laugh, you know. Mm. Every time I remember it. And, and this when I look back into it, I never did do nothing that's wrong, you know. Because... I rub the pasta and try to rub me as a little girl because we get 10 cents for three for the care of our church. 5 cents for two as offering. So you didn't tell him say you want back to change? You didn't tell him say you want back to change? Yes, I tell him say you get back 5 cents. Um. And he tell me say when church over I must come to him for 5 cents. So I okay. go back to him for 5 cents. He tell me say you want to change. Mm. To me, 
Aga din da chai sa rab niya sa pasta and then time is. So long time na mga guha ni Danny Clams out. Long time, long time. Long time, long time. Long time. Right. Me, me, me go to church still, you know, and me tell them, say, me tell, you, know, you know me tell my pastor, say? Mm. Me say to them, say, me tell them, say, we want to show $500 in a collection plate of student business. They say, for $100 me out, can't show, and when me out, show, because I'm not going to the way to show, for me now, 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 for Yeah, well, I, 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 I know and nobody feels uh, I'm obligated to throw anything, neither. You must yeah. feel obligated, and not because everybody are true, and you make the plate pass, so you feel funny. Yeah. And that, them, you know, them pass the plate and chew, you know why I feel funny. You take out you your ass, little money, and chew in there. Yes. Yeah, But like, when I chew my thousand dollars, and then me, when we come home, you know, I don't see you. Yeah. Tell them, say so you want yeah. change. You want yeah, $999 change. Yeah, man. I found you, man, I got that give them. Yeah. ทำไมลิงจะบักมูดอ่ะมาจะตามมากันเรียนอ่าไรมันอ่าไรมันมีก็ไปชูเมคเอาท่าฟูเอร์วันนี้ฟลอร์สแมนมีก็ไปชูเ
My mother just called me. Anyway, now I hear that. He's someone need my ID. So, me and a boom, boom. Me and a policeman say, bingo. You see, police ramp with people. Most Indians do the killing there. Because Indians are ramp. Mm. So, me and a brother, you need know, visa. You know, send man that you just kill. Anyway, the jeep bring me now go around the truck. So where you tell, where you tell that, where you tell that where do? Where, where you tell that where do? Them not, them not so no come out to me. Them never look for me. Now if you want to mention, all right, let me tell you exactly what the soldier said to When we are reversed, we go back now to the truck. The soldier said to them, I'm burnt there. Give me two of them now. For fling down. So I said, brother, we are human beings, you know. I have a witness for the, for the <laughs> thing where they're with me. I said, brother, we are human beings, we are not animals, you know. You see, anyway, when we turn and choke, I realize that my brother cry. So I said, this looks serious. So I said, brother, what go on? He said, all the mafia do a vomit and a lift me over them and kill Andre. So I said, what are you He said, the police, them come, my granny, talk everything I go on, because she tell him they come go on, exactly everything. She said, no, listen to me. Them come in, boom, 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 knock on door. My granny said, she said, who that, who that? No answer. Ten seconds after, police. So she had to look how long me and food that food that nobody in her hands So anyway, she let them in. She had to operate. Them come in. She had to say, say, my dad look a cousin, which is, which is her grandson. Ask him his name. He tell him, he tell him such and such name. I must say the last name he might look for the kill. So she said, she now come out. She now come out, left him. So he asked, which part of this amigo do you reach? So because he's a family yard. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, he man had uh, tried to the house, then reached back up on the front now, so he said, two other doors, so he man fool him there, and my grandmother said, my stepson and my nether grandson. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now. The door pulled. What's her name? Andre Denton. Boom, boom. You see, Rose? So, my guy jump up and grab him. Yeah, grab was, him and him a fight and all. You mean grab the police? And, oh, you grab the police? Mean, what you mean? And only, what you know? And only him get a call, because one of them get a call and run, go out and put him on the bed and say, wrong man. People out of the road, they listen, they have an activist out there now, so anytime I call, I'm call him, I'm going to call him. Now look at him, I see him. Him have it on the phone? Him have it on the phone? No, him get out of the road, because him get one in the operation. Hmm. No, he might have any other chance when we are transpired on the phone, on the phone, in the radio. He might get no chance to do none of that. Mm. You see me? But everybody, my, my local brother there, has witnessed talk, in talk, everything. My granny, anyway, more go back to the murder, I'm going to the man and deal with the thing. After you shoot on the man and my granny, I'm already there, you know. And my sister, I'm wrong man to kill because it's just a last name when I look for. You see me the man dead because I'm last name, because the name dead in town. Because them say them look for a man named dead in town. Anyway, when them shoot the man now, you know, and my granny dead, they are holding me, you know, and them, and them get a call say a wrong man, you know. You know what the man them start, you know? Right. Go ahead. Go come in, wrong. Because my brother, they get in there, they vomit and I listen to everything. My brother, I said, I must say, go ahead, come in, wrong. Who are you going to do? I must say, give me a look of water. Who the water? Who the water? The, the man will get shot. Okay, okay. The man will get shot. And him going in a van. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy with that bad from I'm going in a van to take out a gun. I don't know why the man is a part of them something there, you know. Take out a gun. I'm a guy to say, you can't put that on him. You can't put that on him. I would have done on the truck. I would have look up on the road. After 6.30, I'm dead. You can't put that on him. You see me? And he might fight her off and she grab him again by his foot. This time now, and he might jaw. And I put a lick up on him because she have a bad foot. Mm. You see? She have a bad foot. I the lady, you know, she have a bad foot. So now she let him go because I put her a hat up. I know the fear now. Boom! You know, I ain't that. So she said, me see you. I see a face at three, I want to kill Andre. One shot, tough, rusty one, one black face. You know the whole of them. She said, right now, just to them, she can't point them out. So, you go, you go to the police station? The police come to it, the after. Because in the come, they come. Because the news said they do it in half track. The news said yeah. they do it in half track, and the man sit down on the bed with a gun, and you see police in fire shot. Oh, yeah? 
So we let me ask you a question now. The in the come people them who come there, them when them hear say them youth fire shot, them looking at the house to find out which part the shot lodging or which Yep, part. them take picture man, them take picture and thing because but doubt the man believe that. But doubt them believe that because where well, them said the door, they right now me sit down on the bed. Me I look straight out the door. The door wide open. So if you say you pull the door, no, and the man sit down with a gun, no, no. And you pull the door around three hours there, the door, and say the man fire shot. Not if, if the man do fire shot, either you will get shot or one of your friends get shot or one of them dead with him. Mm-hmm. And we need a full up in the house. The man come at the door away because I want to knock on the door and the man pull it. Alright, so where the gun there with the police? Because the police They're not to go to the police. I'm not sure if I'm a gun. Show the public the gun. Show the public the gun. Show the people in the gun where they can't find you. Where they can't find you. Where they can't find you. Show them it. Mm. And I know. But I hear police say, hmm? this looks serious. Because police is not a problem. So them take, them take, them swipe him finger there for five hundred people to have any residue or anything. I don't funny. know how them are all that. Because it's a hit song for them, you know. I don't know write a new hit song. I don't know what promote that song there. I don't know. I don't know if them rub them and whatever them say them are going to do. But I want to know if all them say, him fire the shot, if I clutch him, clutch the gun, I remove it with a, with a one and or so, which hand them say them hold, he hold it with a, which hand him use. Yes, because I'm supposed to have the, the residue, he's supposed to have the, the, the residue, the bullet residue upon it. So, so which part? Uh, them, them t- t- All right. So it's a in the come come there. Yeah. Is all that we are going at the back there? No, I was on the other side. I was on the front there. Okay, okay. All right. Well, you want know, you what you have to do now. I think the first thing you should have done is right in the come part for them thing is go find a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told that because Mr. Kelly passed you today. Yeah. And we have a fine reason. Yeah, final lie. A quick, quick, quick. I, I re, 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 re tell the tale where he does tell me a while. Like. Yes, ma'am. I'm right. As soon as I'm on Muta, I used to be studying. I'm right. Everything when I got talk. But mm. I make sure right now how I got to approach you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do them something. Yeah. That's what I'm And if black people... If you see, you see, if we, black people that study with history, if we didn't get with history and not, but the slavery part, but we were born as slavery, mm. we'd have more love for one another. Yeah. The community, then would have more unite. Yeah. We don't have no love. Because police are going to deal with us, all right. Police are innocent, man, and a truck, and everybody, they're going to look. I laugh. I drive over them all again. I innocent, man, them, there's some working, man, them, the virgin. And mm. well, I don't know, I think you're a joke, Muta. You hear what the man said? If we don't work for the government, like hospital, policing, teaching, government work, nobody can come out of the chalk. So me I tell man like me, you know where. I for buy all my strong food you because I'm farming me really. Yeah, you have your food to go out. Yeah. I for left you by 10 o'clock. So you have to work that me I work. Mm. So I'm not paying my tax. You know what I say? You see, like say, every, we have ambition, you know. I just say knowledge, you know, for one like, like when you go, I seek, you go seek my knowledge. Mm. I see, I mean, I the only madman with them today, yeah, because me talk different from them and them religion business, me deal with them. Me deal with nature part of life. Yeah. We are talking about unity. I'm going to tell them every day until we unite, we one another. Yeah. This is not going to stop. Bridget, because that's a beat way. I'm going to tell you something. You have many things like this across the island. And it's so much now that it will take long for this them solve them, but as me I say, get a liar quick that we can jump on it fast. Muta, and I say, and I say, me I complain now to it, I'm to me no, and no, my no, reason. But I say, we don't want to and no, we, we don't want to really go no further. Yeah. You know, and nobody is up here called Muta, I say, boy, Muta, justice, innocent man, this Bridget. and that, blah, blah. Because we all know how the story goes and goes. Look at every day somebody call me and give me a story like them, Bridget. Every day. Yes, what me I say? Yeah. So me I say, yo, we don't, we don't know what kind of thing them say them are doing for stop crime or what, because everything with them say, claim for say the criminal them not to do, and that me say them are doing. Yeah, yeah, and them, them are doing criminality too. Yes, so what me I say, so, so, to me, the, my biggest scam and the biggest criminal. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, but you know, you yeah. say they must say the top pedophiles in the country are police oh, and pastor. I feel like them, and the pastor, them terrible. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, give thanks, Bridget. Give yes, thanks. King Mota, so we are going to take, take it from your son. Yes. Yeah, and we're for the minister in the command, so we are going to chat Bless it, man. Well, I say, man. Yeah, bless it. So, I'm full again, and teach them more about the mystery, man. Come and ask that night, I know you could do this, uh, thing you're trying to do. Yeah, the right, the right. Stop study from what, you know? All right, give thanks, give thanks. Yes, yes. This is okay. I called you a couple yeah, weeks ago Step about the Black there. Masses Codex. Yes, yes. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, Muta. How you doing today? Uh, I'm the brother that called you a couple of weeks ago about the Black Masters Codex. Yeah. And I wanted to just, you know, remind and re you know, reiterate how important it is, especially black history month to learn our history. Um I wanna see if there's a way I could get that information to you so you can share it. It's a link that has, it's a resource library, basically. It's free. And I know just even yesterday I heard, you know, they have a lot of callers calling in asking for different books and how they can get his information on this or that. So, it'd so be just a, give, a me, great give me the information how to find it again. Well, it's, it's, it's a link that I have on my, set up on my email drive. All right, so my you give me the drive. link. Give me the link. Uh, I can just give my email address. You are, you're going to give me your email address? Yeah, that, I mean, unless unless you want me to give give me, I can give uh, you can give yours to the operator or something. I mean, so why you don't give me the link for go to the codex? It's a, it's my email address. That's why you know Google Drive is like okay. connected to my email. Right. Yeah, so, so, so you want to, you want give me the anyone email. can see it though. So what do you want me to do? Give you the email. Give, give me the e give me it here. So Let me no, just I give you my email address. It's all right. I'll give you my email address. Half year or an year. Half year or an year. I can give it now. I'll give it now. All right. Okay. Give me the, write on that email address up for me. Write on the email address. All right. Give me it. K-C-K, like King, C-K, and then George85 at Gmail. So K-C-K, like King, C-K, K George eighty five at Gmail. That's all like a code for a for a bomb or something. <laughs> nah, that's my initial. <laughs> <laughs> I drive, I drive, I drive. Yeah, that's my initial. My initial. But right. I know you're gonna be in Miami um, on the eighteenth, so I'm gonna try to come down there and see you. All right, yeah, I'll be there. The yeah. Yeah, I know you, you uh, Atlanta is tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow night I'll be in Atlanta, yes. Uh, yeah, probably, probably Miami will be better. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, if you go over Atlanta, I'm going to worry, you know, I'm going to fret. Because Miami, Atlanta, if you, start, if you come up Atlanta, when I start looking at the cold, you just give me a while, I'm going to fret. No, no, no. So, me see a Miami, me see a Miami. <laughs> yeah, see a Miami, me Miami. come down there and see you. Okay? All right, Miami is this one. Yeah, man, give thanks, Benjamin, give thanks. Yeah. All right, yes, man, I tell you. Uh -uh. All right. I'll go that through your name. You speak, no, I don't use people's name. name. Okay, so let me know. Brother of Babylon, yes, he is. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, bless him. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, man, may I hear you loud and clear, man? <coughs> yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You you heard about the law that they passed in Louisiana that resisting arrest can give you a maximum of 10 years in prison? No. Yeah, man, the governor passed a law just before Obama come out that anybody who resists arrest mm. from the police, violent or without violence, can get a maximum sentence of 10 years. So, so, so why you bring up that? Because me hear it when I already talk to you, I said, why would I share it with you? No, yeah, me know, but I mean, what? All right, you live in Louisiana? No, I live in Florida. I mean, I live in Louisiana neither. So, mm -hmm. more know, hearing this now, what it mean? What it mean to us now? What what consequences it have for us now? Well, the majority of the people in Louisiana are black people in America. Let yeah, me know. You understand? And them claim say one word. They so say one word to the police that can be, they can be charged with resisting arrest. You understand? Or if a policeman hold on for your hand and you flash your hand for him, that is resisting arrest also. Okay, okay. So you understand? So the people in Malusia are assault. Boy, I tell you, it's a witchy thing. I go on for the people in Malusia. I'm not lying to you. Ten years, man. They're supposed to fight all the police and you white and you go mark him up now. How it go? I'm not talking about that now. Man, don't get assault. We'll go pick them and I get all three here. 
microphone. That's all we need, you know, a microphone. 